Elsa, remember that time when we painted this Paw Patrol chase bank over here? Oh yes, I remember. That was so much fun. Yes, it sure was. And remember that time when we painted this Elsa vinyl figure over here? I won't forget. That was fun too. Do you want to paint another one? Oh, absolutely. What are we painting this time? Oh, it's so much fun. Hold on, let me go get it. Okay, here she is. Here is Elsa without any paint. Actually, the only thing that's painted already on this figure is the face, the um, shoulder and neck area, plus the hands. Everything else, we are going to have fun painting it. Let's start off by putting our cover over here on the bottom. So the money that you put in inside through this slot right here doesn't right, come right out. Next up, let's get a good old piece of paper towel to protect our surface. Actually, it's a very light color of yellow. So let's go ahead and dip our brush in there. Kind of mix it up a little bit. Ooh. Now let's go ahead and start painting. Now we have to be careful painting the edges, especially over here on the front because we don't want to paint her face yellow. <laughs> I don't think she'd like that. As you can see, there's a lot of patches, but don't worry because I think that will be fixed once we apply the second coat. Let's paint the braided area here. Right, we're almost done. Just over here at the back. Okay, first coat of the hair is done. It's looking pretty good. We are just going to let that dry. For the meantime, we're going to go ahead and paint the inner area of the dress. And for that, we are going to use our color blue over here. Ooh, that's a very beautiful color blue. Oh my goodness. I love it. Here we go. Now, as usual, we have to be very careful on the edges because we don't want that to go all the way to the cape area. Alright, we're done with the top part. Now on to the lower part of the gown. Okay, alright, we gotta be careful over here on the hand area. Nice! So that's it. That's the first coat and it's looking gorgeous already. I cannot wait for the second coat, but we have to let it dry first. So while waiting, let's go ahead and paint the rest of her gown. We are going to paint this area color light blue. As you can see, there is two bins for it. It's because it's the biggest like area to paint. See that? Take this out. Ooh, that's a beautiful light blue color too. Get some from the lid part. This area has some snowflakes designs on it all over. And once we paint it, it looks even prettier. Here's some more. Ooh, and check out this big, big snowflake here all the way to the bottom. Oh, 
all right guys the back part is done now we just have to finish up over here on the front including the sleeves area and as you paint it it comes out a little bit more Okay, you guys, here it is. It's all done. It's all painted with the first coat now. As you can see, it is looking super beautiful already. So the gown part is still wet, but the hair is already dry. Let's go ahead and apply our second coat on that one. Here we have our yellow color. Second coat time. Ooh, I don't know if you guys noticed from the camera, but the color is looking so much better. Paint, paint, paint. And the other side. Now let's apply the second coat for the blue area. Here we go, second coat. See all those patches over here on the bottom area? That will disappear once we get the second coat in there. See that? It's like magic, right? <laughs> the only thing left is to do the second coat of the biggest area of this figure, which is the cape area. Let's not forget the sleeves area too. Okay, all right, awesome. We are done. The second coat is all dry now. Check that out. That looks so awesome. Now it's time to put some glitters. So what I want to do is get this glitter and put it over here on the front area of Elsa's dress. Wow, that looks awesome! Okay, let's do more over here on the bottom area of the dress. Whoa, 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 whoa. That looks super sparkly. I love it. Okay, we have lots more glitters in here. So we are going to put more of it on our snowflakes all over. So little sparkle on this snowflake here. This big one right here. And just put that on there. Of course, on this big one over here on the bottom. Glitter, 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 glitter all over. Oh, on this side too. Let's also show some glitter love on these small snowflakes. Let's put some glitter on the sleeves area too. Whoa, that looks so cool. All right, everyone, here it is. Here is the finished product. So what do you guys think? Do you like it? I absolutely love it. I think it turned out beautifully. And the best part, it is not only a display, it can also be used as a bank. So that is super, super awesome. All right, everyone, show us some love by subscribing to our channel and also by clicking the thumbs up button below or the like button, especially if you want us to make more DIY videos of Disney Frozen characters. In the comment section, let me know what is your favorite color that we used in this video.